Hi YouTube, today I wanted to share a grocery haul from Costco. I just wanted to uh, show you a couple of the items that I purchased from there. I will be putting out a video in a couple days just showing like my favorite products from Costco, but I just wanted to share my grocery haul today. I also want to just explain to you, it's gonna be a really small grocery haul because I am actually planning on moving, at least I'm hoping to move, and I'm gonna be moving to another state, so I wanted to start clearing out a lot of the food that I have at home. So I've been eating out of my freezers and out of my um, food storage that I showed in one of the videos in the past. Um, that I have like two shelves full of food that I had purchased in the past. So I'm trying to finish a lot of those items. So I'm just buying things to fill in and then a couple things that we want to eat. So I just wanted to share these with you and explain why it's so tiny, but I will let you know what the prices are. So this is my grocery haul and I will share the prices with you. If you're all familiar with Costco, you know the uh, shape of their funny um, milk bottles. They're not like a normal milk bottle. They're shaped kind of funny. So this is uh, whole milk and it was $3.29. This is Kinder Seasoning. I actually heard about this from somebody else's YouTube channel and they were talking about how good it was. So I'm going to give this a try. It's $5.99 and it was 12.25 ounces. I actually haven't tried it yet, but I've heard it's good. So hopefully it will be. Um, this is the crispy chicken strips. They're actually currently on sale right now. They're normally $15.49 and they were $4.50 off. So the next item is this non bread. I actually use this to make gyros. I really like making gyros. I just like gyros in general, but I have a truck that comes in my neighborhood that I really love, but unfortunately it's like almost $10 for a gyro. Sorry, my dog is drinking water in the background. Um, so the truck sells gyros for like almost $10. So I make them myself. I found a recipe online and I do buy the tzatziki sauce. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but uh, I do use that for the gyros or euros. I've been told it's euros. Uh, the next thing, oh, sorry. And these were $4.99. The next thing is this Akosequin. I have a elderly dog. He's about... 13 and a half and so I do give this to him every day and it actually does make a difference because at one point I stopped giving it to him and I could tell that he was just much worse off. Now I keep giving it to him on a regular basis and this Cosequin was $24.69 and it generally goes on sale like every other month so I pick that up for him every time it's on sale. The next thing I purchased was these apples. Um, this was a really good price for these apples so I got this for $3.39 for four pound box of apples. And I just think they looked really good. So, and I do eat an apple every day. That's part of, it's just, I get up in the morning or at lunch or before lunch, really not at lunch. I have a snack of an apple with peanut butter. I got that from my older son who was always eating apples with peanut butter and it's really good. The other thing I purchased was these lychee. I don't know how these are gonna be because they're completely out of season for us, but maybe wherever they're grown, they're in season. Um, it doesn't say on here that I can see what country it's, oh, it says South Africa, oh my gosh. Um, so these came from South Africa and I really like lychee and last time I'd gone there, this box was $9.99 and I couldn't bring myself to pay for it, but. It was currently $5. I think they were just getting rid of them. They had a whole bunch of them and maybe nobody was billing. No one, maybe nobody was willing to pay $9.99 for it. So they had a whole bunch left over and they marked it down to $5. So I got that also. The last thing I picked up was this chicken bake. I don't know if anyone's familiar with the Costco um, restaurant, but this is their chicken bake and it's $3.99. It used to be $2.99 and they just raised the prices a couple months ago. But it's really good. It's filled with I think like ham and ranch dressing and cheese. I've read like the ingredients list and I really think it tastes very good. So a lot of times when I'm going to Costco and I'm too tired to come back and cook dinner, I do pick up a chicken bake. So that is what I purchased. One thing I will also show you is this is actually honey from Costco. I didn't get this today, but I think it's like $12.99 for this. So that is pretty much everything I bought today. I hope you enjoyed seeing the items that I got at Costco. These are some of the items that I normally pick up, the apples especially, and the milk. Um, a lot of these other ones, obviously, I don't buy non-bread every time. I just don't need that much. Um, 
but these are a couple of the things that I purchased at Costco and like I mentioned I will be doing a video um, showing the items that I love at Costco the things that I regularly buy I hope you enjoyed getting to see my small grocery haul from Costco and getting an idea of the prices at a Costco I feel like most of these items are pretty much the same prices as they were before the prices started going up well I did mention that the chicken bake has gone up in price from $2.99 to $3.99 so that has gone up but most of the other items I think are pretty much in line with what they've been and that's one thing I've actually really appreciated about Costco is not that everything is the same price but a lot of things have remained pretty much pre-pandemic prices um, so I do appreciate that if you liked my video I ask that you please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel and I will see you on the next video. Thank you.